there we are and we are live for saturday february 24th last saturday in february here we are again how about this screen we haven't used this screen in a while i actually saw a red dead redemption vod that reminded me that this screen even exists i prefer this for an intro screen we got the chat we got the game going look at us look at linky boy staring out gazing over kakariko village excited i'm excited to get in there see what this is all about it's gonna be a big day today looking forward to it uh i hope everybody had a wonderful whoa easy link let's not do anything crazy um i hope everybody had a wonderful week it was a busy work week again those that hang out in the discord you know you know i vent i vent often on there nutmeg welcome in happy saturday to you uh yeah it was a big week busy week we survived we survived and here we are uh it's tears of the kingdom time uh again big one today kekariko village first time visiting via tears of the kingdom so it's gonna be an exciting one i know we already have uh some earlier quests that were leading us here so we'll see i'm sure we'll pick up a handful i know in breath of the wild there was like a half dozen quests that came straight out of kekariko village whoa so um uh, yeah it should be a good day nutmeg i hope you're doing well i hope the family is well hope you have some time today to enjoy relaxing checking out the stream hope you got your shrek shirt on or your spider-man shirt uh i'm rocking the uh my saint paul saint shirt repping uh minor league baseball out of minnesota so uh yeah, yeah i was torn i was torn it was either uh it was gonna either be uh twilight princess t-shirt or the St. Paul Saints decided to go with some uh, Midwest representation today. Been a minute. And again, we've got our chatting screen. Forgot this button even existed. So I think this is better. Uh, this is better. Although we could probably show. Look at this chat. Is that what this is? No, where's our chat? Is this our chat? I know this is our chat. There we go. Can I nudge this? I feel like we're I feel like we're off center here. Gouda. Can we nudge? Uh fine. Let's go. We're, not, we're not gonna mess with it. Zelda dad, son. Uh, welcome in. Happy Saturday. Uh so I came across some of the fur wait, someone with the first name Gerda. Really? Really, G E R D A, Gerda, and I was like, exclamation, Gerda, Gerda. That's sweet. I always get the Greta when you uh, get the autocorrect when you're trying to text Gerda. Um, I always put the link for the stream in in Instagram. And every time I'm typing twitch.tv slash Gerda75, it always wants to auto default to Greta. But now it's learned. Now my keyboard's like, I know where you're going with this. We know all about you. Makes me a little uneasy, but. Uh, how about some the gear we commandeered last week? We only had one stream last week, but we were able to grab the rubber armor. And uh, some climbing gear. Banny, welcome. Welcome from the room next door. How are you? I literally just saw you 30 seconds ago. Um, yeah, some major clothing updates. So we got our climbing gear. Is the climbing gear... Why? It looks a little different. Is that just me?
I feel like the shirt is a little different. Maybe not. Maybe not. It is. It is Zelda Dad Son. It is a. Uh, it is a great day to visit Kek. I think every day is a good day to visit Kekariko, though, if we're being honest. Climbing gear, Shrek T-shirts. What else do we need? Who's got it better than us? Nobody. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. Uh, two streams this weekend. Although my schedule really shouldn't allow for it. Uh, I don't necessarily have all that much work, but I do have, uh, you know, life obligations that I should probably be paying attention to. But you know what? We're, squ we're squeezing in a stream. We're doing the Sunday stream. We've got to. I need it. I need it. So that'll be good, too. A double header this weekend. Um, yeah, we'll probably go for four hours today. Eh, we'll play it by ear. We'll play it by ear. We're aiming for four hours, give or take. Give or take a couple hours. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I think we get into it, though. I think there's not much else to be said. We jump right into these things. Uh, let's uh, put on the appropriate gear. Korox found today over under 15. I'm saying 15. Fifteen solid though in four hours. I'm thinking over though. I'm gonna bet the over. You know what? Positive mental attitude is what we're doing today. Good vibes only. Let's let's do it. Let's aim for it. Let's get those 15 Koroks found. Rescued. Um I don't know. Wasn't there one uh wasn't there one nearby? I can't remember when we ended. If um if uh there is one that we got or needed to get. I think we check it out. I think we check it out. So we're gonna switch back here. The good old fashioned main stage. Is that a Gerda 75 t-shirt I see? It's not, it could be. What do you think? Something like this? Something cursive? A little cursive? That might be, that's, I feel like that's a classic font. Just a, just a sports, a sports, uh, a sports-esque shirt. Gerda 75. That might be it. We might be onto something there. Yeah, neon light with the purple, the purple glow, the purple neon. That might be it. We might be onto something. We might be in early development here, Nutmeg. We could be in early development here. The black tee. Sports font. Looks like a baseball jersey. Could be onto something. Could be onto something. Um, so here's our puzzle. So normally, so in Breath of the Wild, I believe we come into Kekariko Village that away. way So maybe we do that. Maybe we go for the classic entry. We'll just fly over here. Where's our boy? Tulin, there you go. <laughs> Jersey numbers, obviously 75. Obviously. Um... I'm thinking we, yeah, we circle around. What's going on there? What is that? And he's buying a stairway. Squeeze me? What is that? Is that a waterfall? Is that a waterfall off that island up there? Uh, do I have a silent princess photo yet? I do not. Good call. Good good comms chat. 
good comms. I'm giving you that one. First one's free. <laughs> First one's free. I need you guys awake and alert. We're starting now. No time for... Uh... No time for dazing here. We're in. We're in now. Lock in, chat. Lock in. We're just going to circle. Circle through here. I could check a football over them mountains. What about this guy? We got the... I think we got the... Oh. Nice, nice comms chat. Way to say, hey, Gerda. Put that in the old compendium, huh? Lock her into the old compendium. Oh, yeah. We got, we got stuff going on here. Sky shroom. Oh, we're going to want these. We're going to want these. I feel like these fire fruits are something we can never have enough of. Let's go. Bull, welcome in. Bull, you missed the pep talk. We're locked in today. All right, I need chat on their feet. Focused. Big day today, Kekariko Village. No time to waste. We're going for the we're going for the regular entry. Look at that Korok we're about to get. We got the over of under of 15 Koroks. We're aiming for the over. We're trying to lock in to 15 Koroks today. We already got Gerda 75 merch t-shirt design. It's been a big day already. It's been a big day already. Happy Saturday to you. I hope you're staying warm. We got a beauty 60s this weekend. 64 tomorrow. Ocean, welcome in. How are you? Can we get some uh, happy birthdays in chat for Ocean? It's birthday week. I don't have an exact day locked in, but uh, we're in the vicinity of an Ocean birthday. Let's get some. Uh, let's uh, get some happy birthdays going. We're locked in today, chat. We're locked in. It's a big day, Kekariko Village. We're even, we're coming in the old school way. We're doing it right. Look at, remember, Hetsu right here. Remember? I need you guys locked in. Ocean, happy Saturday. Happy bur I, I, it's, we're in the birthday vicinity. I'm hoping I'm early. Also, it's on the birthday thing, a belated birthday to our uh, friend Jinsoku. Remember the bullies were over here? Hold on. Do you hear that drumming? Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. We had nearly... We had nearly 60 the other day. I'm not complaining about the chill today. Doing great. Good, 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 good. Um, the biggest of days we haven't even splatted yet. Really, we're locked in. We're locked in. It's going to be a huge one today. Long Lawn Ranch Farm remembers. Never forget Long Lawn Ranch. Vibing? No time for vibing. We're in. Ba dum ba dum be dum ba dum ba dum be dum. Yeah. Beats. Beats. AJ, welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday. Ten hour stream yesterday. I'm tired for you. Uh probably going to dinner tomorrow. Hanging with a good friend. Nice. Nice. Awesome. 10 hours, Ocean. 
animal. That's too much. That's too many. You want pictures of my vegan brunch? Yes. Yes. Of course we do. Even if you post and we complain, of course we want to see it. We're still going to be like, AJ, save some for us. Beats, what's up? Come on! Ba dum, ba dum, be dum. Buzz, buzz, a dum, buzz, a buzz, buzz, a bum. What are you doing? Whoa! Hey, hey, don't interrupt. I'm busy calling bees with my beat. Come on! Don't look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See, the conductor in the musical trope I play has been a little down. I figured I'd make him honey crepes. That should cheer up our ma our maestro. R that should cheer our maestro right up. But I can't get my hands on any coarser bee honey. Yeah, I used all mine in um, in a dubious dish. So can't help you there. How am I supposed to make honey crepes without the honey? That's why I'm trying to lure some bees with my beat. All I need are three combs of honey. Someone said there are some beehives around Kekariko Village to the north, near the huge hole. Oh boy. Here we go. One of these streams again. Near the huge hole that opened up. But that hole is pretty scary. No way I'm going anywhere near there. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. We're just going to breeze right by that. We're breezing by. Awesome, AJ. Awesome. Well, hello there. Hello there, traveler. Fancy seeing you around these parts. Oh. You hear that? It's coming from around here somewhere. Is that a drum? I hear it. Oh. I'm hearing that then. Maybe it's one of... Maybe it's the one I'm destined to walk through life with. Calling to me in that way. Dang, Beats is about to get it. But it can't be. It just can't be. Mm. I wonder where it's coming from. I've been scouting here for the source, but I haven't found it yet. Do you want me to tell you, or? Just hang a Lucy right there. Right at those rocks. Dude, this is a well-traveled row. What's this guy? What's going on here? Link's primary mission isn't saving Zelda. It's doing everyone else's side quest for them. Oh, it's you. It's... Don't tell me. Oh, That's it. You're the fellow I saw at the new Serene Stable. What a coincidence. Suppose fate really wanted the two of us to run into each other again. Ah. Pretty sure you remember my brothers. The two fools talking in circles about swords and beasts. Finally got fed up with them and decided to go on a solo adventure exploring my favorite caves and ruins. Favorite caves and ruins. You're alone too, right? Alone is good. It means you don't have to put up with endless insane arguments. Inane. Inane arguments. Aww. They may be insane. I don't know. Sometimes I do miss having people to talk to, but still, it's better this way. <laughs> don't tell me. Yeah, just the hero of time. But just the guy that's about to save everyone. Humanity as we know it. No big deal, though. I wouldn't expect you to remember that. Troll, how you doing? Welcome in. Happy Saturday. Tempted. Tempted with that Hollow Knight stream. Big happy birthday to Hollow Knight, seven years of age. Silk Song's a myth. Tell your friends. Um... How do we want to do this? 
Do I want this? I gotta move these first. I think I gotta huck the lumber first. We might be able to do it with just one. I'm thinking. I can just line her up. There we go. I think. Or should we just throw one of these just for uh, just for good luck? You're telling me you didn't find that drummer? He was right there. I mean, drool if you want, just don't get it. <laughs> All right, photos posted. Please don't drool. Drool if you want, just don't get it on your controller. Uh, technically not your quote, but you said it. <laughs> Thank you, Ocean. Listen, somebody has to do it. These people are hopeless. They really are. Mm -hmm. They really are. Help yourselves. Think of the general disarray of the land of... Uh, if Link didn't pull through and pop some balloons floating in the air. Uh, good having a lazy Saturday. Playing some Twilight Princess in a bit. Or a nap. Or both. Twilight Princess does sound good. I was saying I was torn between uh, wearing my Twilight Princess shirt today or my St. Paul Saints. I went for the uh, the Midwest rep. That was brilliant. I had never thought of that. All right. Uh, let's get him secure while he's still standing. Just put this right there. Get that fastened. And... Ah! Perfect. With your help, President Hudson's now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with, sorry, uh, to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. 20, please. <laughs> also, you may be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something. Let me hit you with these rice balls. Still don't feel like I thank you enough. How about an explosive device? Sleepover tickets. I've got a ton. Been itching to play for like a month and a week's vacation is ideal time. It really does sound ideal. I know. Man. I launched my Switch, you know, to start the stream. And it's just like a library of awesome games that I have not been playing. Hurts hurts my heart a little bit. Um, I know I sound like a broken record too at this point. But I'm thinking this coming week could be awful quiet. I might have some evenings to myself, believe it or not. I know you don't believe me, so. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. But I'm hopeful. Can you hear the... Oh, jeez. I nearly crushed that lady. Can you hear the hope in my voice? Now, there was a Korok around here. I don't believe you, but I want to believe it's true. Oh, really, fool? <laughs> Got him. I don't want that arm. I don't want this. I don't want this. Ooh, do I have a chopper? Get in the chopper. I don't know that I have a, a... Yeah, I don't. Ooh, what should we chop with? What should we chop with? Should I just make this my chopper? I mean... Seems reasonable. <laughs> Looks like a chopper. Naknitsa! Hello! 
sad. I've been busy on the weekends. I'm sorry. I've been busy, too. We've been trying to squeeze streams in where we can, but life happens sometimes. I'm glad you're here now. Welcome. Happy Saturday. Hope you get a couple of minutes to hang out. If not, that's fine, too. As long as you're taking care of yourself. We're just picking tomatoes, that's all. Doing some home renovations. Exciting. Okay, get ready. Sprint. Sprint. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Home renovations. Exciting. Exciting. I'm trying to acquire said home. It's exciting. Stressing Vanny out, though. What's this guy got to say? Lurda. Sounds like a cheese. Sounds like a cheese. Uh, you're here to see the sights, right? See the sights? Uh, let me guess. The sights you want to see are the ring ruins in Kekariko Village. Am I right, aren't I? All right. You don't have to accuse. So I want to see a ring. But then... You don't have to be a psychic to figure that out after all. You can't find runes like that anywhere else. Actually, I didn't even know there was ring runes in Kekariko Village, but thank you for spoiling that for us. Lurda. Oh, but don't let me keep you. Kekariko Village is right down the road. Have fun. Now that you know what you're about to run into, have a blast. Enjoy, please. The attitude on these people. Exciting, but weekend killers for sure. For sure. Our housing prices are insane right now. Same. Insane. I'm going to be baking an empty soup can on Twitch in a couple of weeks. My, I'm going to have full-blown Bernie Sanders vibe. I'm asking you once again for your financial support. All right, one. One down. We need 14 more today. We're going for 15. We're going for over 15. So we need 15 more. Look out below. Uh, when we were able to buy it, record-breaking house sales. So places were selling instantly for asking price, sight unseen. Yeah, um, my sister bought her house around, well, uh, in a similar time. I don't know. Maybe it was the same time. Uh, it was nuts. It was absolutely nuts. I remember. What the heck? Is that a hot-footed frog? Look at the thighs on that hot-footed frog. Can we get a look at this? What is going on there? Do they all, are they always built like that? What is the deal with this frog? Thicker than a snicker, according to Awesome Opossum. Feed skater thighs. Cool, thank you for the quote ad. Dang. Hot footed. Double cheeked up on a Saturday. It's a sticky frog. That's our problem. That's our problem. Nagnitsa! Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate you. You ain't gotta do that. Thank you for 13 months. Just over a year. Lucky 13. Sticky frog, lock him in. Well, that. Thank you for the burn. I'm just going to play that on a loop when my channel's offline. Um, how do I... Right in the thigh. Sticky frog. Frog likes to climb walls, hang out. It oozes a substance that climbers can use to cling to wet surfaces. 
Dang. Just the journey. Look at that thing. I'm going through all my arrows, but worth for these cheeked up frogs. Get a load of these cheeked up frogs. Okay. Is there something up there? I feel like we would have noticed. I feel like we would have noticed. Rhino beetle. Rhino beetle. Hold on. Let's focus on the beetle first and then we'll come back for thick thighs. Gotta be quicker than that. We're fast. You guys, we're doing it. We're doing it. Let's just stroll in. Let's just stroll in. We're there. Look at the chicken going up the stairs. Look at them. Single file and such. What are you doing? We're hands on with the ring ruins at last. I can't believe it. Uh. Letty. She was with Dom in that Fast and Furious movie. Letty! I'm Letty. This chunk is just a small piece of one of the ring ruins. Not ch nothing much, really. Mm. I mean, compared to the main sites like that ring ruin over there. It's broken in two, but you can still see the full ring. How do you, what do you figure I can still see the full ring? Mm. Well, we can't visit that one by order of the Princess Zelda herself. No one's allowed to go anywhere near it. Nobody? Ah. Nobody? We'll see about that. So isn't getting close up to this chunk here something at least? We can sweep up some of the fragments and sneak them away. You guys, I'm literally right here. I'm like the closest person to the princess in this whole village. We gotta study these ruins somehow, huh? Uh -huh. Don't mind me. I'm just definitely leaving everything I just found. Wait, you're not with the survey team, are you? Uh, Phew, I thought we were going to get yelled at again. Uh, we really want to become members of the Zonai survey team, so we came here to study the ruins. Did you know that ring ruins have been found only in Kekariko Village and nowhere else? That's why the Zonai survey team sent its specialists to examine them. We figured this was a great opportunity to learn all sorts of things. Mm. But Letty has been running all over the place and look at this, uh, to look at this and that. So we've gotten nowhere fast. Aww. Come on, I'm sorry already. But after we're done here, want to see the stone slab found in each of the ring ruins? Huge discoveries, they say. Uh, after we're done here, want to see the stone slab found in each of the ring ruins? Stone slab, each of the ring. Oh. Classic Letty. Just classic Letty. Naturally. Let's see how many of the five ring ruins we can visit to see those. Five ring ruins. We got numbers, folks. We got numbers. We got we know how many wells there are. 
Ring ruins, we got it. We know it all. <laughs> Nothing up here. Okay. Waterfall, anything? No fish, nothing. A little tree. This Kakariko soundtrack, though. Torch. Soundtrack hits every time. We do some cooking. What do we got here? Some spoons. Some non playable spoons. Oh no, that's not what I want. Almost Emily. Oh, hello there. Hello there. Happy Saturday. How are you? Welcome in. Welcome. Kakariko Village. No big deal, but here we are. Let's just light this up real quick. Uh, non playable spoons are my favorite one. Uh, wouldn't be a trip to Kekariko Village without a half hour cooking segment. Let's do it. You're right. You know what? You're right. Maybe let's get a side profile, perhaps. All right. What are we cooking up? Oh my goodness. The options are endless. Not these gold apples, so we're definitely saving those sitting on 60 tomats. Look at these things, a heart a piece. Let's see what these tomats do. Just filler? They're just filler? Let's. What are we. What's going with this tomat? We have one honey. What if. Maybe a fish with tomat? Some kind of salad? Stand bulb? Mix up a little salad? <laughs> Alistair, what is going on? Welcome in. Happy Saturday. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Welcome, welcome. Tomato, grain, cheese, beef. You got yourself a Jack's original right there. Should we cook a pizza? Should we cook a pizza? I don't know that I have all those things. Having a really lazy weekend of doing literally nothing. Oh my goodness. I think that's my next weekend. Just like the Lord intended. For real. For real. For real. What do we got here? We got a grain. So let's, let's cook this up. We got grain. Maybe a little salt. Throw a, throw a steak on there. Uh, Tomat. We got any cheese? I don't know that we have cheese. Oh, what a crappy pizza. Seems like my pizza. This is like a pizza I eat. Oh, what are we going to put on there? Where are we, what are we going to put on there? Might a thistle? Little mushroom? Little mushy? Little mushy might be okay. <laughs> Tomato mushroom stew. Can't forget some fresh Koroks. It's delicious and vegan friendly. A Korok kebab. Is it really? Is Are Koroks vegan? I don't know. They seem... It doesn't seem like that would... That lines up. Does not... Doesn't seem like that lines up. Um, what if... 
What do we what do we want here? Sizzle friend. Um Heat resistance chill. And a couple tomats. Fish and tomats. <laughs> Chili tomato seafood soup. That's a that's a two-time heat resistance. Grants high level heat resistance. Full of intense flavors. We're locked in. We're locked in. Hey, hey, easy now, Alistair. Easy now. Easy. Easy. Just just finish lunch on a Saturday. Let's Let's pump the brakes a little bit. Um, I don't. I'm thinking just hooking up some heat resistance. <laughs> yeah, we we don't. We really don't. You know what? We we barely survived that one. We barely survived that one. Let's uh let's just chill. Let's just all let's all take a breath here. <laughs> Bananas and tomatoes, my favorite. <laughs> Alistair, thank you for the follow. <laughs> nice to have you. Maybe maybe we pump the brakes. On smashing the adolescent bird. But you know what? Hey, listen. <laughs> listen. Oh, God, that didn't take long. Bum, bum, ba da da da. Yet, da 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 da. Yeah, maybe we can just chill a little bit. A little cool down. A little cool down. Let's just uh enjoy enjoy the game a little bit, you know? We don't need to be uh going bananas. Only one person's allowed to take this off the rails. That's me. Nobody said it's fair, those are the rules though. Those are just the rules. Uh, why well, you stay cool even in arid regions? Yeah, that's not very. Might as well. I think that's good. Should we just. Maybe we. Whoa. Uh, maybe we just cook up a couple of herbs and steaks. Yeah, I don't make the rule. Wait, actually, I do make all the rules. I actually made the rules. It's, I know. As much as you want this to be a democracy, it is just not. I'm the boss, and I'm at my wit's end. Steamed meats. Yeah, steamed meat. Yum. Yum, nothing like a good steamed meat. Do I get the day going? Hey, are we drinking water today? <laughs> are we drinking water today? All right, let's go. I mean, we did our we did our cooking segment. Let's see what the fan. Hey, get back here. This won't work either. Wait, maybe we'll get back to... Wait a second. How is everybody older but this girl? No, I don't want to sit by the fire. I'm talking to this young lady. Lastly. What to do at this rate? Grandmother's health isn't going to... Uh, 
think Clary's so busy running the clothing shop. I'll just have to do it myself and find a cure for my grandmother. Oh boy. Now I gotta say somebody's grandma? Best, best of luck. I should have hit her with that. Well, good luck to you. We're off. I'm gonna go cook some tomatoes right over here. Are you a traveler? Guess it doesn't really matter who you are so long as you're willing to listen. You see, it's my grandma a few hours later. <laughs> Is she about to trauma dump on me? She got too close to that nasty gloom stuff and now she's sick and bedridden. Porridge is about the only thing she can keep down right now too. I've been trying to mix the ingredients that could help with gloom sickness, but none of them had, have had any effect. I need to cook a porridge that will make my grandmother feel better, and I need to do it soon. Mm. Bloom? Never heard of her. I don't really know anything about it myself, other than what it does to you when you touch it. My grandmother's cleaning up East Hill for the survey team when she first noticed the castle. We know now that that chasm's a source of gloom, but she didn't had no idea. When she tried to take a look, she got exposed. Granny got exposed. Cotton 4K. What was she doing to that chasm? Got the ingredients to counteract gloom sickness somewhere out there, right? Hey. It's my grandmother's favorite. Made of Hylian rice, fresh milk, and wild greens. Hashtag cancel grandma. Hylian rice, fresh milk, and wild greens. Might not normally think to mix those ingredients, but it's surprisingly good. Bunch of Hylian rice and milk from the merchant who travels the road to the west. So I'm not hurting for those. I just need a crucial ingredient that fights gloom sickness. Feel a lot better after taking care of thanks for listening. Keep experimenting with recipes until I come up with a porridge that works for gloom sickness. Gl a gloom born illness. Sweet. Jaleezus. Okay. Uh. Might be hiding somebody think behind it. It has some medicinal value. An oil jar. I need milk. Should I just pull out the sword? Give me the milk, lady. To the west. What the heck? Wait. Oh. Directly behind me. All right. Put milk. Somebody. Hey. Somebody want to drop milk on the grocery list for me? Milk. We need. We need. Somebody just jot that down so I don't forget. Milk on the grocery list. We're gonna want milk. Let's go see sick granny. Cause that'll really cheer up the stream. I don't wanna catch it. Hold your breath, chat. I'm sorry you have to see me like this. I'm dealing with an illness. <laughs> I don't have the strength to get up. If this is about the clothing shop, please talk to Claire. Yeah, I was wondering if you could like maybe hem hem my, my trousers are just a little long. You wouldn't mind uh Sucking it up for 10 minutes just to fix my pants. Thanks. Thank you for your concern. 
All I can do now is make sure I never lose heart. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll pay, obviously. I'm no monster, but I am kind of in a rush. We're kind of on the clock, Granny. You mind? So are, are these like community carrots? These are for anyone to pick? That's an impressive carrot. You might be reprimanded if you take it. They might catch these hands if they reprimand me. Huh? What about that? <laughs> Are you trying to run a business here or what? Don't come crying to me when they close the doors on the old clothing shop, alright? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear any boo-hooing coming out of you. Everybody's scared of a little work. Look, gloom never slowed me down. Welcome to the clothing shop. Let grandmother be okay. What about the quarterly profits? Never slow you to down. <laughs> Except for that two, uh, two hours we fought the gloom line. <laughs> that was different though. At least I wasn't belly aching in bed. I was fighting. Till the death. Where can I get a fire tunic? Fire tunic. I think you follow the path up. You follow the path up to Death Mountain. And the dude along the way, I think, gives you a quest for the fire gear. You might need to cook some fire resistant items just in the meantime. But I, if I remember correctly, Along the path up to Death Mountain, there's a guy. It was getting hot going up there. Yeah, you got to stay right on the trail. And there's a guy that will give you a quest, I believe. Uh. Huh? Oh, welcome. Sorry, I must have drifted off. I'm so just so tired lately. Uh. Look. I know it won't help to talk about, but I'm going to do it anyways. My grandmother's real sick. No, you were right. It won't help. I just, I want to buy the chic armor over here. That's why I'm here. I've got hard-earned rupees in my pocket, and I want the chic armor. I'm running a little shop with my sister, Lastly. Last, Lastly? He's looking after her. No, she's not. She's sitting outside by the fire. Uh, we're sort of getting by. But we're both exhausted. So you're not like trying to save the world or anything, are you? Because we could really use your help right now. I'm sorry about this, but we really need mother for grandmother's treatment. Are you kidding me? What is wrong with these people? They think I'm made of money? Oh, goodness. Chat, no more bashing the elderly. Friends are here. <laughs> Ninkika, thank you for the raid. Hey, thank you so much. Ocean, appreciate you as always. Um, isn't lastly the fire eater? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Devlinator, welcome. Ninkika, how are you? Nutmeg, thank you for the shout out. How's Tears of the Kingdom going? Have you done this quest yet? I gotta save grandma. 
I gotta save grandma. Ocean, thank you. That quote will probably be used in court someday, but thank you anyway. Ninkika, welcome in. Welcome in. Everybody coming over from the Ninkika stream. Welcome. My name is Gerda75. Welcome to some more Tears of the Kingdom. We're just rewinding. We're behind you. So this is like... The, we, you time traveled back. You time traveled back. Um, yeah. No, I really appreciate it. That's very kind to you. That's very kind to you. I hope you're enjoying Tears of the Kingdom. Um, yeah. I don't know... Um, I don't know how uh, quickly you're trying to finish, but you're, I definitely know you're ahead of me. We are taking our first visit to Kekariko Village. Good luck cheering Granny. Thank you, Tro. Enjoy your lurk. Um, first visit to Kekariko Village. Uh, so far, our mission is to uh, create a porridge that will cure gloom. I think we got everything we need. We just need a little milk. A uh, little, little milk. So we got to find a um, a merchant on the road to the west of Kekariko. But uh, we're new here, so we're just, uh, you know, taking it all in. We're just taking it all in. We're in the clothing shop now. I haven't done this specific quest. Uh, no, I'm tired of these people taking advantage of, like, yeah, that's what we were just complaining about. Yeah, we were just saying, uh, it's not like I'm, like, you know, the hero of Hyrule trying to save the day. In the meantime, I've got to do these people's chores. Because <laughs> nobody wants to work these days. We were venting. We were venting right before you came in. Um, but Ninkika, again, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Um, so kind of you. Ocean, again, I appreciate you advocating for our stream. Um, it's been a pleasure having you and your community on Saturdays. I hope you guys are all well. And uh, if you got to do your post stream things, I completely understand. There's a lot of Saturday left, so try to make the most of it. We're going to get back in. Apparently, we just have to give away our money and we're not like I wanted to do an exchange where I got Sheikah armor and they got my money. But apparently they just want a handout. I had to hike up the prices on everything in stock. Jeez. It's just for now, though. As soon as grandmother is healthy again, I can set our prices back to normal. I know I shouldn't bring my home situation into the shop with me. No, you shouldn't. That's not good business. Uh, don't. Yeah, don't. Don't sweat it, Nikika. Uh, I was telling my chat earlier. I really hope I can uh, drop in on a day that isn't Saturday so I can hang out more. Uh, always great vibes here. Thank you so much. Yep, you're welcome anytime. We're here, uh, typically here Saturdays and Sundays. So I know I've, I've got a limited schedule. And I know uh, lots of folks are making the most of their weekends. So, uh, yeah, no no sweat at all. We're always, it's always a pleasure to have you. And you're welcome anytime. It'll, it'll work out one of these times. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Be safe. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, I'm sure. Totally unprofessional. Claire. Clary. Claire. Cl Clary. It's nice to get it off my chest. It's nice to trauma dump on this complete stranger who's probably got things to do. Uh, I probably shouldn't have dumped all that on a customer. Okay. At least she's socially aware. I'll give her that. Okay. Time to salvage my professionalism. Ah. I'm sorry about that. Allow me to welcome you to the ah. Enchanted anyway. Can get your hands on CC brand fashion unless you go uh you can't get your hands on CC brand fashion unless you go southeast to Hetanoville listen Clary I know come here Claire come here Claire I know you're I know you're new here okay I know this is uh your first day but um probably not telling me to go somewhere else when I walk into your store, okay? Maybe, um, you know, dumping your trauma on me and then telling me to shop elsewhere. If you want the good clothes, you're gonna have to go south. Anyway, work in progress. You know, we're le we're all learning. We're all learning. Please don't let these NPCs walk all over Link. We'll try not to. We'll, we'll try not to. 
Thank you so much, Ninkika. But why go there when you can meet all your fashion needs right here? We serve both style and quantity. I want to sell. Hey. I want to sell. Hey, hey, hey. How many diamonds do I have? Oh, two. 500 a pop. Drop top. Let's sell five of them. We gotta rack, rack up our change here. How many amber do we have? Nice. Can we get some nice in chat? So a few of these amber. Some, some nice. Nice. 44 of them. Nice. Nice. Whoa. Ten. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable when you laugh when I sell things. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. It makes me uncomfortable when you're like... <laughs> I believe you sold those for 80 rupees a piece. Loser. That's the vibe I get. That's the vibe. Look at the thighs on these. On these frogs, though. Ba -ba -da -na -na -na. What else are we selling? Ooh, ooh. He, he, he. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Ocean. Uh, I don't have time to do much traveling, but looking at things that you carry around feels like uh, seeing the world. So come here when you have things to sell, okay? You need something? Um, I gotta go buy milk. Because I'm not about to pay these outrageous prices. Those are gonna look sick, though, as soon as I've got them. Quote 107. I should probably... That bird. Oh, yeah. this is the guy. Wartsworth. Ah, Link. Good of you to come. Too curious to stay away, eh? You know it. I know who this is. This is the guy we saw at, uh, in Central Hyrule. Oh. Remember, he was going to, uh, decipher the text the ancient hylian text i thought so i'm glad she's showing interest in my work oh this is a picture of the stone tablet that fell from the sky at lookout landing i managed to decipher the inscription on it using my notes of ancient hylian and i had it uh the notes my notes on ancient hylian i had in storage at the research lab mm. here's what it says once held E honor honor else Hachmedi to King Raru and Queen Sonia thereafter to his sister and to Princess Zelda once held E honor else Hotch made. Yeah, you did a great job. 
Once held E honor, L's Hotch made. Hotch. Hotch made. Hotch made. To. Oh, made. Honored. Oh, I don't know. Her on these. Her on these. Great Stan on 12th Mo Will. Will. With ale, make e andite min time with the royal family. Mean time with the royal family. So Mitch oh, or resemblance preserving for the sake of him on whom our hopes reside. Rest raised. Raised. On whom, sake of him, on whom our host rests. Mm. It's not much to go on, but you can clearly read the names of King Raru, Queen Sonia, the founders of Hyrule. The name Zelda is clearly legible elsewhere in the text. The author finishes by saying that she will write about the royal's family daily lies in 13 segments. All right, we got 13 segments. What was the other thing we got? We got how many rings? Eight rings? Five slabs? I forget what the numbers are. Somebody writing these down. What's on the grocery list? Ah. It clearly seems to be royal, a royal diary left behind by a chamberlain or someone of equivalent station. The part that catches my attention is the third name mentioned, Zelda. Milk. Yes, thank you, Naknitsa. There's no record of anyone by that name in any of the other texts we've unearthed so far. But this is evidence that the name Zelda is much older than the princess. It dates all the way back to Hyrule's founding. No, what's happening? What's happening? This is a story as old as time. What's happening is they're trying to communicate with me in modern day. So they created these diaries for me to decipher now so that I can figure out what's going on then so I can fix it from the future. Problem solved. So the reason you're just reading about Zelda now is that she went back in time and now she's trying to communicate me with me via these slabs. Oh. What's written here must be the start of a first-hand account of Hyrule. Mm. Did you notice the number 13 there? That means there are 12 more stone tablets to be found. If a royal chamberlain really left these... Oh. It's an interesting perspective on the day-to-day -day life of the era, one which the history books don't mention. There's so much we can learn here of King Raru, Queen Sonya, or even this curious woman named Zelda. Mm. Milk, now with vitamin R. 12 stone tablets left fascinating. Oh. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some kind of visual evidence of them and show them to me. I'll make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. Oh. Shout out to Zelda dad for telling me to take a photo. Uh, Link, I can see that excitement on your face clear as day. Have you already found something? If you track down a picture of a stone tablet like the one at Lookout Landing, I'd love to see it. Ah. Oh, you have one? Show me. Mm. Interesting. I'll get straight to translating it. Oh, ah, incredible. Oh. It's a first-hand Hylian history. Here's what the original text mm. says. Quenite Minaru, the king's elder's sister, Queen, Queen Minaru, the king's elder sister, falls so deep in her folks, which that she Oft for yet to Etten. In Min wearied, we don't e that much e con, but e fear haven't that it been little avail. Of late, Trent, Tret, 
treadeth she of constructors things did she make with her hands as vessels her spirit one body leech fallen so said she mit she living long in spirit usted who said within this construct though minru and semis to hold an ani seat by me faith he on that all's growth they there's word is in cool. so king Raru's older sister was named Min oh. minru did you meet my husband? Is this him? Wartsworth? Here, we learn a bit of, about Mineru. 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 It says that she neglected to eat or sleep while making something called a construct. It was part of her research into a means of returning to life as a spirit possessing a new body, should her original one die. Andra. Thank you for the tier one. Thank you for the tier one. Yeah, I had a, all those 50 gifted subs we got last month are went away this week. <laughs> Sub numbers have plummeted. I'm doing very well, Andra. Happy Saturday. Welcome in. Toto Kitty. I don't think I've met your husband yet, but welcome in. Toto Kitty, by the way. Ugh. Hold on, I gotta reach. I'm rocking my St. Paul Saint shirt. Representing. Representing Minnesota. Um, sad times, just need 50 more now. Sheesh. Sheesh, Team Skull, how are you? Happy Saturday to you. It was part of her research into a means of returning to life as a spirit possessing a new body, should her original one die. Mm. To you or I, it sounds like less like history and more like sort of a ghost story. But remember who we're dealing with. They may have had unfathomable powers that made such things possible. The revelation that Minuru, Min, Minuru was a fellow researcher Makes her feel like a kindred spirit to me, and yet, oh. the chamberlain who inscribed these stone tablets treats Minuru with such care and kindness that it warms my heart. Very good. I thank you. Not just with words, but with this as well. A hundred rupees. Oh. Thought of such an incredible historical artifacts falling down all over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablets that look a landing, we have 11 tablets left to find. Ooh. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some good visual evidence of them and show them to me. I'll make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. <laughs> you haven't been here then? No. Um, This is my first visit. Kekariko Village. First time. First time via Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, Discovery this... Valuable deserves a special place along my records. I'll hang it up in the laboratory wall. Uh, Where should I display this one? Maybe on the wall over here? Goodness, but this place could use the tidying up. Uh, Thank you for bearing with me. I put what you brought over there. Mm. Oh, wow. He really did clean up. You're welcome to come back and have a look at the research lab wall anytime. Oh. If you find more storable tablets, please do some documenting them with a picture so I can see. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on, I gotta turn this fan. It's getting warm in here. It's getting warm in here. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. That's 
ticket. That's the ticket right there. Now we're cool. Now we're cooling. Now we're cooling. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Cooling with Tulin. You got any milk in here? What is this? You guys, we're behind. I don't know if you know this, but we are behind. What are you doing? They're all so high up. Ooh. Bug it. Hey there, kid. Did you come to see the ring ruins too? We might bump into each other when we're running around the village seeing the sights. If you want to learn about the ring ruins, be sure to ask the Zonai survey team, people here, or the village chief, chef. You'll find her and a few team members under one of the ring ruins, the one floating to the north side of the village. Oh. I'll be checking out the shops around here. If you see me again, say hello. To the north. If that's the north, then I gotta go west of town. Ring garlands for sale. Ah. You should mark your visit to the ring ruins in Kekariko Village. How about a ring garland? They're made of lots of love and they're only five rupees each. I'll take one. Why the heck not? Ah. Thank you. Before you go, I'll add a little extra bit of love to it. Mwah. Here you go. I gotta get this up. To the ring ruins? How do I do that? How the heck am I supposed to do that? I gotta haul this thing all the way up there. No, don't fall. Don't you dare. No. How do I get it up there? I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but we're trying it. Can I, can he reach? Yeah, just barely. Just barely, barely. Barely. There we go.
Okay, no, not quite, Link. Good, good effort, though. Good effort. Am I at the right one? He said to the north. I have no idea what I'm doing. I got a feeling I'm supposed to do something with this. I feel like I need to do something with this. Just gotta hold it there forever. <laughs> oh, don't cry. Hey, you there! But my ring. Oh. Haven't you heard? Strictly forbidden to get near the ring ruins of Princess Zelda's orders. So you better be on your way. Oh. You heard me. Princess Zelda came out of the Kekarika village the other day. Told everyone to steer clear of that ring ruin. Oh. She left in a hurry, so I didn't quite catch the way of it all. As you surely noticed, these ruins would... Come crumbling down every any time. So folks need to keep away so they don't get injured. I'm sure that's where our concerns were coming from. I don't believe it. Yeah. Oh golly, there he is. There he is. The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one. The way it just floats up there. You had the foresight to focus on all these special runes and invite the survey team to take a look right away. Uh. I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Uh. Oh no, I am no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a, sh a chief on in name only, since I still have a great deal to... Mm. Oh, is that you, Master Link? He was cr <laughs> he was crushing on us hard in Breath of the Wild. Crushing hard. I'm so happy I get to see you again. Big, mm. big crush on us. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Yeah, about that. Huh? What, Princess Zelda is still missing? That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kekariko Village. She ordered us to stay away from the ring that floats above, no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess right before my eyes. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was good to protect the village. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This rune does look like it could crash down at any moment. Uh, that's what Pai and I suspected, at least. Mm. But still, I know I would not. I know you would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How ah. confusing! Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I'm so pleased to see you. I forgot. Uh, I forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. Ah. I invited him here to uh, uh, investigate the ring ruins that fell in our village. 
just to investigate. Don't worry, I got it. There we go. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to babysit. I invite him here to investigate the ruins that fell in our village. Yeah, uh, only to investigate. And I told him to wear his tiny vest. Uh, for the investigation, obviously. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with the Zonai script. He is truly an incredibly talented individual. Incredibly talented individual. You think? Oh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we're forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins of such shape has fallen down around the village. Must have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is the stone slab with the writing is found on each site. Deciphering the text show that each slab contains rather interesting content, including messages of sages. Mentions of sage seven rings? Seven sages? Seven eleven? What is this world coming to? There's still so much we don't understand. Seven swans of swimming? I think that perhaps the runes floating in the air also has a slab that makes mentions of the sages. Oh. I can't investigate, as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. Oh. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is all right, why won't she just show herself? Mm -hmm. She must have some reason. Till we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave the ruins alone. Mm -mm. Uh, so about my ring that I left up there, uh, so what are we going to, what exactly are we going to do about that? Is it still up there? It's definitely a reference. Yeah. Oh, I remember. I remember those seven sages. You know... Oh, it's still there. this supposed to go I have a feeling this belongs somewhere you know what I mean yeah I have a feeling like it belongs somewhere like I'm supposed to place it somewhere I know exactly what you mean all right good I'm not just blowing smoke then what's going on here this is this OB? Is this out of bounds? Be Hold up. 
Let me arm myself. Let me arm myself. Or sir or honey. They're just gone? Hey, Tulin. Where is it? Ooh. Who needs the honey again? Who's the honey guy? Oh, yeah, the drummer. The little drummer boy. It's night at Kekariko. Imagine you just a hammock down there. I'd be out like a light. Best sleep of my life. One night's rest in Kekariko Village. I'd be rejuvenated. 25 years younger. Wake up feeling 25 years younger. Imagine. I'm at just a cozy hammock. A big blankie. Imagine the rest just drooling REM sleep. Ugh. Right back to where. What is this? Am I a playable, a non playable character in Tears of the Kingdom? What is this? Is this the thing we saw where you put wheat in there? Need my washer driver TV except uh, the new Gwyneth Paltrow age resistant technique stay at night in Kekariko. Exactly. Taking years off your life Eastern Ring Ruins Research Journal. Given its location near the edge of the chasm, researching this rune involves some level of inherent danger. So as a resident gloom expert, I volunteered to head up this operation. As with the other ring ruins, our slab investigation turned up a stone slab etched with Zonai writing. Some of the villagers who came to help clear the rubble came into contact with gloom one still hasn't recovered all the herb effects against gloom have been used up tending to the wounded at lookout landing the urban question was a yellow plant i stumbled upon in my previous research very likely a new species given how difficult it is to procure i've been working tirelessly to develop some sort of alternative like here interesting so what is this So I could have sworn. I could have sworn this is like. Yeah, worth a try. What do we got here? Some kind of map. Can we uh, take it back? We just zoom out just a little. There we go. What do we got here? We got some water. What's on? Where's north? On? Oh, it's there. So I'm looking at this way. This. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, we got some. A double circle there. There's the big. The big blistery chasm. Are these the rings, perhaps? Ring locations? Perhaps. Ooh. 
Look at this. What if I just... Do you think a chasm would open so close to the village warrants constant observation? Zalus is leading the ring ruins investigation, so that leaves me free to focus on the gloom. Watch it. Don't startle me. That was close. I could have fallen. I'm a specialist in gloom, not to find gravity. One false step, that would have been the end of my research. Now, what brings you here? Have you come for a professional consultation on gloom? What if it gets you sick? Are you asking because you're planning a trip down the chasm? What bravery. If you do touch gloom and become unwell, come to the surface right away. That's the most important thing. Certain foods may help. Feel better when I tried nibbling on a yellow plant fallen near the fallen ruins. Uh, Try to research the plant to confirm results, but I can't find any records of it. Come to think of it, I heard Cory discovered a new species of plants. Perhaps I'll ask her. <laughs> Asking questions about gloom while other folks are drawn to the ring ruins, Zonai survey team can use an inquisitive mind like yours. Yeah, I got enough going on. I really got enough going on. I don't uh, I don't necessarily need that on my plate right now, but I appreciate it. What we got here? What exactly do we have here? Yeah, dad, yeah. What the heck is going on over here? Everybody's sleeping. I've got no arrows. I gotta work on weapons. Let's uh let's work on weapons. Fuse attack power. Blue main lionel saber horn. This could do some damage, huh? They are, they are a huge hot commodity. Our bow is going down the tubes too. So, let's see what we can do here. I think we go with enough made quick work of that team just not they weren't ready bottom line they were not formidable soldiers bottom line Interesting. What can we dump here? Mm -hmm. Honestly, this little this little guy might not be too bad. Um.
thing in this. Maybe this. This. This drop. Oh, I like this little mix. This sounds like new sounds. A little variation to our... Uh... There's my arrows. A little variation to our normal just exploring tunes. Nice. Nice. Five stack arrows would have been nice, but... The old beggars can't be choosers. Boom. It's a new day. Oh, jeez. Uh, Link. Link, you good, pal? Okay. I feel like we should go up there. You guys, where I mean, as far as like our Korok discovery goes, not good. We are not on pace at all. It's been an hour and 40 minutes and we have one Korok. Those aren't good numbers. I do have amiibos, yes. Yep. Look at, get a load of this. Where is he? My friend and I got separated. Oh my, he might as well be on the other side of Hyrule. Separated, how many days? Yeah. Unbelievable, these guys. Like I got all the time in the world. Separated. We got separate. What, you fall asleep for a week? Look at how little they are. Those baby legs. How long is it taking them to get all the way over there? So long. Look at that. So long. What if I, let's see, maybe I can make something happen. I mean, I mean, I'm only, a, I'm only one man here. What do we got? I mean, best I can do. Best I can do right now. Oh, watch your head. Okay. And then, oh, would you just stop it already? No. Don't worry, you guys. We're gonna ex expediate this process, or at least try to. At at the very least, try to. Unbelievable. This little Korok's been nothing but a pain in my side. Yeah, get out of the way. I'm trying to save the day here.
Okay. I mean, we're kind of doing it. We're kind of doing it. Um, you know, kind of. Work. I mean, we're kind of. Why? Why are we? Why are we? Okay. Did we stop and I had to strike it again? I'm not sure what happened there. Listen, the good news is we got here. It wasn't that bad. That like went semi well, I would even say. And now we just knocked out two Koroks. Thanks for bringing my friend. Boom, three. Thirteen more to go. Easy peas. What do we got here? You guys wouldn't happen to have any milk on you, would you? Really go for a warm glass. Yeah, dad, yeah. Storms are brewing over there. Hey, get back here. They're flying from rooftop to rooftop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See what else we got. Oh, what do we have here? Right back to work. Huh. Morning. You came all the way over here to see the ring ruins. I'll be. Watch your steps so you don't fall into that chasm. Get personal with any gloom. <laughs> Just can't help yourself gloom wise. Look to our resident gloom specialist, Eba, by the tents. <laughs> Anyhow, chief is here to determine. Uh, chief is here. To t chief here is determined to keep the ruins up for viewing. Just steer clear of the stone slabs and the ring ruins can't replace those. Oh. Did you know? Five. Count them. Five ring ruins fell here. They're called the ring ruins. We discovered stone slabs inside of them inscri inscribed with Zonai writing. Each slab tells a different story. One in the ruins is about, let's see, mm. wind, fire, water, lightning, time, ah. and light. That was it says people with powers like those could amplify them with secret stones to perform great ah. deeds. If you want more uh, than a synopsis, you can take a look at the translated text posted near the slab. Writing is so ancient that I couldn't begin to tell you how to read it. But Taro is pretty well versed in Zonai stuff, so I had him write it down for me. Mm. What a shame we can't enter that floating ring. I bet there's a slab in there packed with juicy information. Oh, is this it? Ciphered slabs. Wind, flame, water, lightning, and time. Light. Wait, isn't that six? Wind, flame, water, lightning, time, light. Who holds the power of secret stone... And that person dwell within the power, amplify, great might, display. The thrust of the message on this slab is about something called the secret stones. Those who held powers such as wind, flame, water, lightning, and light 
and light and time amplified them with secret Good, uh... stones. They used the stones to attain great might to accomplish their goals. Allie Coco, happy Saturday. Way to peek on in. We're in Kekariko Village. It's pretty interesting. Hope you're well. So we got our slab. All right, back to work. So. How can I get under that? Are they gonna yell at me? You. Sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Haven't you heard? Uh. Sorry, I I apologize. I apologized. Okay. Let's find the milk. Ooh. Those are like the mighty fish. Let it out again. Oh. Dorian, who? Is that really you? Link? Why, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you appear here in our village. And now, too, while our chief is. Ah, uh, am I. I suppose you haven't heard. Woo, woo, woo. Christina! Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Shout out. Christina G3. Playing some Tears of the Kingdom. Excellent. 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 Let's switch over here. We're in Kekariko Village. Christina, how are you? Happy Saturday. Welcome in. Thank you for sending folks over. I appreciate the kind words. Look at that. I'm pretty much the best at this game now, I think. Look at that quote, Paul. Um, Christina, I hope your Saturday is going well. Yeah, we are in Kekariko Village. And we are raiding uh the headquarters here something about lady impa oh yeah lady impa retired lady impa retired i'm playing tears of the kingdom again after watching you these last few weeks awesome 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 so you're you just started a new playthrough or you're back to your original playthrough pushing forward did you start fresh Um, yeah, we are just trying to, uh, complete some quests in Kekariko Village and, um, yeah, see what we can stir up. New playthrough, did the Wind Temple today. Excellent, excellent, GG's, GG's, yeah, you know, you know we're taking it awful slow here, but I'm glad I could inspire you to get back to it. I mean, it doesn't take much inspiring, you know. It's an excellent game. No, don't have to twist your arm too much. Now Lady Paya is the chief of Kekariko Village. I've been working as her assistant, but Ugh. Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. Hmm. Here's that map again. Oh, is that where we are? Is that little statue thing where we, you are here? Is that what's going on? Lady Pia's diary. Diary of a chief. Read Pia's diary of a chief. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> now I got to read. Now I got to butcher this. One day, grandmother said to me, you've grown up, Pia. 
It took by it took me by surprise. I so I simply nodded. She nodded back and said, "It's settled. As of today, you are the chief." And so it was. Suddenly, I was the chief. But what can I hope to achieve? Just like grandmother, I do have Dorian as my aide, for which I am grateful. Yet for some reason, he seems troubled. Grandmother has become obsessed with old books. I'm hesitant to reach out to her with my concerns. I just 100% of Breath of the Wild this AM. So now I think uh, I'll obsess over Tears of the Kingdom a bit. Until I figure out uh, what is next. Dang! 100% Breath of the Wild. Let's go. Let's get a couple of those. Let's get a couple of those. Let's go. No small feat. The 100% of Breath of the Wild. Dang. That's a lot. That's 900 Koroks, folks. That's visit every location on the map. Every nook and cranny on the map. That's a lot. That's a lot. Dang. Let's go. That's legit. I fear this chief's hat. Uh, that grandmother has given me is too heavy for me to bear. Literally, it rather hurts my head. It happened suddenly, without warning. I was so frightened by the impact. It was as though someone had taken hold of this world and given it a violent shake. The air grew stagnant. Weapons decayed. The ruins fell from the somber sky shrouded in the dark clouds. How fortunate that none of the villagers were injured. As the village itself, it has been utterly transformed. Five large ring-shaped ruins fell down upon the village, and the large openings in the ground have been spotted at East Hill. Even with everything that is happening, Grandmother said that she is going to set out on a journey with Kato. I tried to stop her from going at a time like this, but she insisted in such times are precisely why she must go. I had no choice but to bid her farewell. Her eyes seemed to wordlessly say that she was shouldering some great mission. There are 11 peculiar symbols this depicted in the uh, books grandmother was reading could they somehow be related to her sudden departure i told purita of lookout landing about her village's situate about our village's situation she said ring shaped runes are incredibly unusual realizing this could be a good opportunity to help the village i made arrangements with the zonai survey team at once i returned home to group uh, to greet them and that's when Princess Zelda arrived at the village. She seemed almost like a doll of herself. The same outside but with no spirit within. I could not handle my uncertainty. She forbade anyone from entering the broken and particularly floating ruins and then she left just like that. She did not mention the village's awful condition or have any words of kindness for our villagers. The Zonai survey team has arrived at our village. Their leader Taro is truly incredible and has already found a clue in the quest to decipher the Zonai writing. I tentatively named the ruins that fell upon our village the Ring Ruins. It seemed the obvious choice. The villagers have treated me with such warmth. They even embraced my decision for us to coexist with the Ring Ruins. Of their own volition, some of the villagers volunteered to aid research and others for patrol duty it is humbling to behold dorian's sweet little daughter coco even crafted souvenir items called ring garlands before i knew it our days are never having visitors have passed our village our quiet village seems to have regained its vigor before all else we must learn about the ring runes it is my responsibility as chief to see that it is done I intend to fulfill my duties as chief in a manner that is slightly different from my grandmother's way. Gone is the chief who sits in her hall with quiet wisdom. That is what the villages needed of her then, but no longer. I must keep moving forward so that when she returns, I can greet my dear grandmother with a triumphant smile. Dang! Aya's got a lot going on. And what's the deal with this Princess Zelda? It was somebody in a Princess Zelda outfit. Hey, there's our uh, Breath of the Wild banner. Pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. What do we got here? Hey. Right. 
Let me just grab a... How do I? How do I? I want that book under there. For another day, I guess. Okay, uh, fish. Actually. Oh, I do that every time. Hey. Hey, hey. That's four. We need 12 more. We need 12 more to hit our number for our quota. Our day's quota. Right now I need these fish though. Anybody looking? You guys look for me. Is there anybody looking? Anybody looking? You guys checking for me? Okay, just ignore that. Nobody saw that, okay? It's doing a little fishing. Thank carp. It offers no special effects when cooked. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Coco? Artla, hmm. What are you drawing here? Is that? I don't know you. And I shouldn't talk to strangers, but we're already talking. So maybe we aren't strangers anymore. This is probably fine. What do you got? What do we got here? What do we got? So we got them and then, yeah. okay. A ring. You two. I know you two. What do we got here? Food? Got any milk? Wow. Kind of uh, bare bones here. Ah. Pretty, uh, pretty bare bones here. Can't believe it. We got no more of those. Well, glad to make a sale. I'm very grateful. Yikes. Hi. Hello, welcome. Hi. I'm sorry, the old fella who stocks this place is busy driving off monsters. They've gone to the ring ruin. Uh, that's among the hills that lead west of a village. As you can see, we've run out of goods. Uh, those two, they just don't get along. That's going to stand in the way of them taking care of that problem up there. I can't go up and check on them. And no, uh, in the longer they're away, the more worried I get. Codger's quarrel. Dear me, apologies for going on and on about my old worries. So what can I help you with? Recommendations? Aww. I usually recommend the swift carrots that my miss, mister grows. But here's the problem. Aww. He's gone off to drive off the monsters. All right, we're headed west. Ah. Stop by anytime. Not if you're not selling anything. What am I coming back for? To stare at the walls with you? the west unbelievable hey c come back anytime if you're not doing anything productive we can be not productive together ocean thank you for the uh thank you for the clip 
We're headed west. Linky goes west. Oh, this is where we were, huh? And we're supposed to... What do we got here? The lazy river? I need one of you to go pick carrots. Listen, I don't got time for this. Can I go murder these guys for you? On and on you go with your best defense is a good offense nonsense. And now it's afternoon already. We haven't even gotten any closer to getting rid of those monsters. And we won't as long as you keep turning it upside down. The best offense is not a good defense. You stubborn old pogger. Eh? Yeah? Look who's talking. Unreal. You boys just sit back like Ger to take care of this. Alright? Let your boy Ger to take care of this one. Okay? I'll be back. I'll be back. painless. I don't want anybody to feel any pain. Dead before they know it. Interesting. Interesting. Strong Zonite Sword. Really? Doesn't look very strong. I think I'm going to drop that though. What is this? Ah, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. What is this? Oh. Can it Colin? Can you not, please? Okay, you blew this. You blew the old jumper. Oh, does it only get one use? Can I reset it? Here we go. Our second ring ruin. Those slab nestle in the ring ruin. Some translation notes. Those who most elite among the guaranteed qualifications are chosen as sages. Those worthy secret stones and henceforth sages. Clearly the sages are the subject of this slab. Filling in the blanks. I think it's basically saying... Talented individuals become sages by taking up secret stones. Interesting. Interesting. We gotta find these sages. Yeah, dad, yeah. Coast is clear, boys. Oh, Linky took care of it. You defeat the monsters, just who are you? That, that's some kind of fighting you did there. It sure was. A firm grasp of defense and a strong hand with offense. Have I had it wrong all these years? It's plain as day now. You can't defeat your enemies purely with defense. No, I had it wrong. If you just attack, you're going to get hurt or worse. Well, the important thing is that we realize the truth before it's too late. We need a balance between the two. And this fine fighter here showed us the way. Oh. I don't know if this is a good reward, but Olken knows a thing or two about defense. I'm all about offense. I doubt there's such a warrior like you could learn from the likes of us, but glad to help if we can. Well, now that the monsters are gone, I suggest that we head back to our village. Ah. Right? I bet Trissa's store is running low on goods right about now. People there must be in deep need. You darn tootin'. You darn tootin' it is. Oh, wow. Into the chasm? Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. At least it's not a hole. Oh, it's got hole qualities, though. You! I need your milk! Ah. Hey there! Have you been to Kekarika Village, the place everyone's talking about right now? Getting there is as simple as traveling southeast on this road. Lots of folks have been uh, heading that direction since the ring roads started falling in the area. You're bound to run into them if you go this way. Uh. Say, there are crowds, there will be customers. And I'm really good at business, aren't I? Uh, anyway, let me take a look. Welcome to Nemesis N Nembus Nembus's Fine Goods. Please take a look at our carefully curated offerings. Uh. I'll buy fresh milk. You got it, mister. Let me take them all. Get them off your hands real quick. I'll take them all. Uh. Yeah, let me, uh, let me grab these, too. Yeah, yeah, what else you got here? Fireproof lizard. Nah. No, I'm good. Ah. Uh. Yeah. 
Give me your milk. Look at these thick boy frogs, though. Get a load of these thick boys. These frogs don't run. They're too thick to run. Oh, nothing like chopping a good leaf curtain. No, not a much better feeling than chopping a good leaf curtain, you know? snuck up on me I'm allergic to those thick boy frogs allergetic I'm surprised that it didn't make keep the shoot the little crest Korok All right, we got the milk. We got to make a porridge. Gross. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What does this guy need again? I'm just a simple tourist like you, Zona. I achieve you can tell me more about the ring ruins. Ooh. I'll be checking the shops around here. If you see me again, say hello. Yeah, but what does he need? Eh? They probably had a hard time making mostly unique Koroks in this game. Can you imagine having that job? I know. What an undertaking. That's what I mean. It seems like there's enough of them where like you could re rinse and repeat some old some classic oldies. Ooh. They're most amazing uh uh oh fell ring shape. Stone slabs. Ancient message. Oh uh. man's extreme fear of heights. Even get close. Oh. You know it's written on the stone slates? That's amazing. I could never climb such high. What did they say? Oh. Awesome. What is going on? Welcome in. I used my, uh, I, or I used your thicker than a snicker reference earlier. You, you got to see these frogs, possum. Thick little boys. Thick little boys, these frogs. Uh, there were once people blessed by wind, fire, water, lightning, as well as time and light. And these people use secret stones to amplify their powers. Wow. They must have had some pretty amazing rocks uh, way back when, huh? Ooh. Thank you for telling me about that slab. Truly fascinating stuff. Just three left. I can only come imagine what discoveries are. Uh... You had a chance to see more? What's written on them? Mm. Oh, so now I gotta give this guy the play-by-play. -play. So it's not enough to be exceptional. You need a secret stone to be a sage, or so it seems at least. But what's the secret stone? If it's that special, I'm sure beauty I'm sure it's beauty would put a diamond to shame. Ooh. Thank you for telling me about this lab. Truly fascinating stuff. Just two left. 
Uh, which ones haven't we gone to? This one, right? Probably got to get up there. Thick. Absolutely thick. Was Secret Stone the best we had? It was honestly the best we could do. You know what? Given the situation, it was the best we could do. Um, so let's see, Hylian rice, right? Am I getting this recipe correct? Milk. And then one of these leaves, right? Right? <laughs> Veggie porridge. An uplifting dish. Is that it? She haven't volunteered to put her so she wouldn't have gotten the gloomy good of uh, porridge you can eat. I mean, a mix of green, different ingredients, and gloomy need porridge. Oh, mm. oh no, that's not what I want to say. <laughs> You're an uplifting dish. Get out of here. So, a green, what? what is the. What is the gloom? It's a green. <laughs> Porridge that works on gloom sickness. Do we have what they say? It was a yellow, a yellow flower. Sunny veggie porridge plus three gloom heal. Let's go. Shove this down her gullet. She's just getting worse and worse. I need to hurry. Huh? What's that gentle aroma? Is that porridge? Yeah, it's the porridge I put in my pants. It's pants porridge. Did it be? Did you make porridge that could help with gloom sickness? Give it a try! What did you say it was again? A sunny veggie porridge? Never made anything sunny before. Maybe this will help with my grandmother. <laughs> pants porridge. It's pants porridge! Thank you, lastly. This is the first meal I've been able to finish in quite a while. Link Link be a whole meal. His pants porridge be a whole meal. Whoa. Grandmother, your complexion. <laughs> the color's coming back to your cheeks. Hold hold up now. Hey, look, are you seeing this? A few bites of your sunny veggie pants porridge. And it's like she was never even sick. Oh. Can you fix this hem now? By the way, the length of these trousers, you mind? You mind? I'm actually I'm actually a 32 inseam. If you want mine, just uh, cuffing these a little bit. Such a gentle flavor. Gentle flavor. It didn't just nourish my body, but my spirit too. Thanks to you, my grandmother. It seems I'll be around for a long time yet. I'm so grateful to the both of you. 
Grandmother, what are you doing up? Ah. So sorry I worried you. This nice young man made me a wonderful sunny veggie porridge. I'm feeling much better. Ooh. Hold on. You're doing this much better after one bowl of porridge? I guess I knew that Lastly's plan, but I'm still amazed it actually worked. Ah. Now that I'm feeling better, you should hurry and prepare for your journey, Lastly. Oh. Huh? You knew? <laughs> can't get anything by her lastly besides everyone knows uh studying fashion in hateno village is your dream grandmother and i could take care of the enchanted by ourselves trust me you deserve this ah. very nutritious evidently are you sure you don't want to go study with her oh. pants forge is the new hylian euphemism well, I'll be li I'd be lying if I said I didn't. But there's something else I want more. I want to make Enchanted a success. Right here in beloved Kekariko Village. Right next to my beloved grandmother. And I dream of someday filling our store wall to wall with outfits you design, lastly. So don't worry about me. Go study hard in Hateno Village. And come back to us as a fashion icon. <laughs> you mean it? Uh, listen, I've been here for 25 minutes listening to you blabber. All right, I fixed grandma. Now let's get those outfit prices down. And thank you, grandmother. Well, now that grandmother's all better, I think it's time to head back to the shop. We gotta make sure our prices are back to normal and everything's ready for our customers. She's an icon, she's a legend. You should come by the Enchanted yourself. Yeah, how about a little discount? Maybe a little something on the house, even. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. Made a lot of porridge trying to find a cure for my grandmother, and we won't be able to eat it all. Or so. You're not legit going to give me porridge as a reward, are you? I think it turned out pretty tasty. To, so I'd love to give it to you to take on your journey. You're legit. I saved grandma's life. And you're going to give me three-day-old, cold, energizing veggie porridge? Pulls out Master Sword. Shh. Bink. Time to right a couple of wrongs, if you ask me. Yeah! I'm going to work hard for my big sister. Just watch. I'll be a fashion designer who changes the world. You guys, remind me to burn down her uh, her shop in Hateno Village when we get there. Remind me to burn it right to the ground. That clap wasn't for the burning. No, you can encourage me burning her business to the ground. It's the only way. Sometimes a message has to be sent. My favorite. Chica fabric. Five hundy, say less, fam. Say less. Get a load of these. Just chill. Ah. 
The fashion world owes you a debt. How about a discount? Now, where was I? Ah, yes. We only buy anything we need. Ah. Uh... She needs to relax a little. Yeah, this girl. Clary needs to chill. Chill out. If that is your real name. Clary. Um. What are we selling? You know, I think I sold pretty much it. We'll have to come back. We're coming back for those pants. We're going to have to come back for those pants. Woohoo. Doo doo. Ah. Now we're out of here. Ah. All right, Banny. Jeez. Unreal. Okay, so I was climbing up there. Where was I? Before Vanny type pornish in my chat. Where was I? I gotta do this 80 times. <laughs> yeah, but you got Rivali's Gale. Ocean, you got Rivali's Gale. You can skirt across the world with that. Still have to meet that punk. Yeah, he's a good one. Probably my favorite. Now, I got to get over there. I got to. Mifa's grace is ready. Remember that? That was like my life in Breath of the Wild. Member. Definitely member. Virtue member. Virture. Now what? Okay, note on the table. Large ring ruin research journal. There are five ring ruins around the village. This is what I call the large ring ruin. Clearly the most impressive in scale. Part of it has collapsed and only ruin to retain its circular shape. So the other ruins, a stone slab inscribed with Zonai script was found in the rubble. We have stored the slab in a tent at the nearby camp. Mm. Oh, hearty truffle. You're the only fungus for me. the heck is this uh -huh. wake up oh dear oh dear this isn't the place to go to sleep sagurus sagurus not far off if he finds out someone's been sleeping on one of the stone slabs a priceless artifact i'll be the one who gets it uh. yes stone slabs are well slabs like the one this guy's sleeping on 
The survey team discovered stone slabs in each of the ring ruins sites here. They found this one in the ring ruins above us. Ah. Our leader was able to read the Zonai writing and says the text on the slab is a record of a historic fight. One that's between a great king of that era and a demon king. The ruler did not, could not, defeat the demon king and instead imprison that mighty foe. The text also says that the sages who fought beside the ruler left something behind in case the demon king returned. Returned. It worries me now that this discovery talks about a demon king's return and here the upheaval just happened. If only we knew what those sages did to prepare in the case he came back. Oh, sorry, I mean, didn't mean to think and fret at the same time there. Uh, you can read the deciphered writing for yourself. It's right next to the slab. <sighs> I've got to do something about this guy soon, though. Saguru's in the ruins above, and if he comes back, and he'll come back down here eventually. Stone slab at the large ring ruin. Stones, some translation notes. The Demon King, vast power, no hope, victory, king's own life, managed, imprisoned him. Imprison, not, indefinitely, prepare, demon, revival. We sages must leave our knowledge, future generations. Reading between the lines, this stone slab seems to be a record of how the king in those days challenged the Demon King. If I had to extrapolate the meaning, I'd guess that it's something like this. The reigning king determined that there was no match for the demon king and gave his own life to imprison the threat. The sages tried to leave something for the people of the future who would have to prepare for the demon king's revival. Oh. Um, how do I get this guy up? Oh, hearty truffle. Can I hit him with a hearty truffle? I think I got a big hearty. Tr I'll put my big hearty truffle in his face and see what he does. Oh. Sniff, snorf, a gentle aroma with a strong, hearty undertone. My dear hearty truffle, I have you now. Uh, aha. Is that just a dream and where am I? That might. I was changing. The, that's right. I was changing the beds. Anyway, thank you for waking me up. I need to hurry back to the inn. Oh, the traveler's going to be so mad at me. Lord, Lord hat mercy. Now, nah, it, it turned out to be just a hearty truffle, not a big hearty truffle chill y'all need to chill remember the kids remember the kids i mean that's what i had to do right wasn't that the goal the mission there I'm not allowed to discuss strategy on stream anymore. <laughs> ah, it rained in my eye. The guru. Hmm. Did Pierre send you? I'm Saguru. Nice to meet you. I specialize in studying the Sky Islands. I mean, look at all these fascinating ruins just dropping out of the sky. Great stuff, right? Huh? Huh, wait. You're not with the survey team. It's the official ring ruins research site. It's dangerous here for civilians. <laughs> but if this you're the good stuff. <laughs> but if you're the sort of guy who comes all the way out here for curiosity's sake, you might be a researcher at heart. Since you're here, I'm happy to answer questions. I don't, as long as they're about the Sky Islands. Uh. 
Aww. What makes you curious? Hmm, I want to know more about the armor made in, with Zonai tech. Clothing and culture are tied together, and there's so much we don't know about either of them. So many mysteries. Anyway, the bigger Sky Island, the bigger settlements. We think some sort of cultural relic must be up there. But since we can't get up there, it's all conjecture. I'll have to content myself studying the ring ruins. I'm not boring you, am I? Because I can go on about the Sky Islands forever. Go ahead, ask me anything. Oh. Yes, we should ask him. I'll just read for the rest of my life. You know where you start daydreaming, you stare off into the sky, and then you go, whoa, floating rune. That's a Sky Island. Oh. Remnants of the Zonai civilization, like the ring runes, have fallen all over. Turns out... Uh, they're from Sky Islands, which means <laughs> the whole Zonai legacy is up there. The islands are untouched, so everything must be well preserved. Yeah. I'm not boring you, am I? Because I could go on. Uh, 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 not sure about what lives there, but what we found is new species of plants around the fallen ruins. And if there are plants, I'm sure there's other things that live up there too. If you're interested in that sort of thing. Oh. I talked to Corey. She's our resident plant expert. Gerda. Justin Gamers Jr. Jay Upton. How are you? Welcome in. Happy Saturday. Right now, she's trying to cultivate plants that were attached to the ruins. If that interests you, you should definitely ask her about it. Oh. We don't have a way to get to the Sky Islands, at least not yet. I'd love to go someday. I bet the folks in Terrytown could improve uh, improve the balloon. I wish I had a reason to head northeast. Terrytown? Gerda. There it is. It works, yeah. I don't know. Oh, you know what? You know what? I bet your channel points are scuffed because you changed your username. Hold on. You know what? I'm a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. How do I do this? How do I do this? I did this recently. I did this recently. Uh, now, how the heck... Search. J. No. Man of the people. Man of the people. La la. I wonder, does it? Does it? Hold on, hold on, we're gonna get there. Um. There we go. And I can edit. And make this. J. Upton. Underscore. Up ten underscore
Oh, it doesn't allow caps there. There we go. There. Try try an exclamation gearbox again. If that doesn't work, I'll have to work on it. Another day. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. There we go. Now you're good. Now you're good. I bet the folks in Terrytown could improve the balloon. I wish I had a reason to head northeast. Man of the people. That girl to 75. Man of the people. Don't you forget it. Okay. Do I want to go... Way over there? It seems very inviting. Like an inviting dive. But I feel like I should go check this out. But it's so wet. It's wet. Wet. You know? You know what I'm saying? Well, that's not going to do it. Link. Oh my goodness. Just, you know what? Just don't even bother, Link. Wet. I've been here for two plus years and this is the first time I'm hearing a Gerbux. Yeah, it's just the channel currency. So anytime you use like a sound command or something. Team. Yeah, hit us with a exclamation Gerbux. Let's see what you're packing. Large zone. Yeah, dad, yeah. Bull just wanted a reason to flex her 500 hours. Savage. Savage maneuver there. Let, hey, let's see what you got. Instantly drops her 500 hours. <laughs> Old school Nate, what's going on? Welcome in. I'm uh, just climbing some ruins. Just gotta remind them sometimes. Just gotta remind remind them. Nate, how are you? Welcome in. Do we have a way to convert these? Oh jeez. Link, could you? Why are you? Cr why? You know it. You know it. Boy, do I have an opportunity for you. Yeah. I'm great. Uh, uh, how do you like this? Uh, stacking weapons in this game versus Breath of the Wild. Uh, it's definitely interesting and has taken a little time to get used to. But I'm starting to figure it out. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. There's like unique, uh, you know, you, unique creations, weapons to create. Um, we're still learning. We're still, I would say, in the early phases. I haven't bought this one yet. Not sure I enjoyed that part. Um, you know. 
Uh, I am liking. I am liking this game a lot. Uh, I think it's just like more, more Breath of the Wild, which is all I really wanted. Um. So yeah, I, I'm definitely still in that adapting. You know, I'm learning. Uh, Oh, this is one of those I can buy, right? Um, yeah, I'm still learning, like, to remember to use my abilities properly and um, to even remember to create weapons because, uh, like, even now, let's see. Like, I have you know half my weapons that aren't even crafted yet um but it's cool to take like you know a damaged sword and then put like a lionel part on it and make it like a level 40 weapon it's pretty sick could craft some of these things i don't want to do something with this spear let's do that now so if i go to my inventory you can sort by a few different things. Mace horn, 29 fuse attack power. What is this? A blue Hinox horn, 19. I don't want to use my diamonds, even though those are good, 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 good. This thing looks kind of sick, too. Only 16, though. Um, yeah, let's use this. I mean, I don't use a, a, a spear that often. But I seem to always like to when I do, you know? So why not go for it? So nice spear. Look at that thing. It's a back scratcher, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that thing. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm looking for a way to take my hard-earned cash and through wild speculation that could make me lose everything. Make these 6k gearbucks, uh, 12k gearbucks. We might be, we might be able to figure something out for you, Toto. We might. Unfortunately, I bought this game about, uh, last year and ended up not playing it even a little bit out. Really? I'm telling you, get into it. I'm telling you, get into it. Uh, I didn't know you actually powered up uh, the rating. I thought they were just a limited amount of weapons to begin with. Uh, this kind of weapon buffing with stats uh, is like the old school RPGs. Nice. Yeah, it's sweet. I mean, and you can do the same with like swords and um, arrows and everything, you know, like of obviously you can like attach things to arrows to you know get your bomb arrows or your electric arrows or your i don't know what else do we have of uh, freezing arrows but um there's like different things to just like attach and like up the damage of the arrow the arrow thing is is a bit of a, a peeve of mine since starting um because it's like a one by one basis you got to do each and every one, which is kind of bothersome. I wish I could like craft, uh, you know, a dozen, 20, 40 arrows of a certain type and then just plow through them. Um, but again, I'm adapting, you know, me complaining about it and changing it. So Southern Rings uh, Ruin Research Journal. Like the other ring ruins, those that fell at the plateau south of the village also held stone slab with Zona inscription. Curiously, we also discovered a flower growing in the ruin, the likes of which we had never seen. References in the ancient text revealed that it was a sundelion, a plant long thought extinct. We are currently borrowing a local plum orchard for our cultivation efforts and hoping our studies proved fruitful. No, our investigation on the round device filled with strange objects has meanwhile come to a standstill.
Arrows are probably my biggest dislike of the new system. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's where I'm at. Like, again, I, I like the weapon crafting because, again, you can do it once and then, uh, you know, and then go on with your day. But, yeah, the arrow thing is, I don't know. I, again, I'm adapting, so it's like, odds are you're going to use one type of arrow repeatedly anyways. So, if you just switch to that crafting item, then you just crank through it. I would totally play it like every day. I just don't have much time now like before. You gotta make time. You gotta make time. I don't have much time either, but we, we swing it. We swing it. Because we've got to. We've got to. This game and hanging out with you guys adds so much to my joy. My general joy that I need, uh, I need to make time for it. Uh, the stone slab at the Southern Ring Ruins. Some translation notes. Who protect of Hyrule from the demon king together, king. There we, known as sages... What I take from this is that it's about a f facet of Hyrule as in, as it what, wait, what I take from this is that it's about a facet of Hyrule as it was in those days. If I were to guess at how many, if I were to guess at how to fill in the gaps, I'd go something like, there were those known as sages who protected the kingdom of Hyrule from the demon king. Uh, you make weekends bre better, brother. So thank you for giving us your time. Hey, thank you guys for giving me your time. That's that's why I'm here. Believe me, there's selfish motivation. There's selfish motivation. I'm here because I know you guys come to hang out, and that improves my day. So thank you. Thank you for showing up and hanging out and being generally rad. Uh, what did I miss? Um, I'm new at this. Millions is an option. I always assumed it was by stealing their hard-earned money and calling it luck. No, you you gotta earn gerbucks around here. I should have like a a, a gam I should start a gambling site. <laughs> uh, Are you stealing it? Maybe there isn't anything here after all. Oh, this is Corey. This is where I found the Sunday line, so there must be seeds or something. Ugh, about tourists visiting the stone slab. We're gonna trample everything soon. Come on, come on. <laughs> Kaya, where did you come from? Suppose I should have been paying more attention. Isn't she a docile creature? But come now. Sneaking up on people isn't very nice. Hmm. Ah, oh, sorry. Are you interested in the Sunday line? Mm. Sunday line is a new species of plant. The one that was found on ruins that fell from the sky. I believe that means they grow on the sky islands. I'm still in the middle of my investigation. But early results indicate that they gave some sort of relationship. They have some sort of relationship with mm. the gloom. If I can prove that, I think I might be able to help those suffering from gloom exposure or aid in the research of the depths. In any case, it's rare to find them on the surface, so I'm using the village's plum garden to see if I can cultivate them. Mm. I found one near a stone slab, so I'm looking for any seeds that might have fallen. <sighs> Look here. See, that's a stone slab. The text on the slab is from the Zonai civilization, so it's beyond me. But our leader has studied the Zonai language pretty thoroughly and has an idea of what it all means. Mm. According to him, the stone slab in these ruins is a record of Hyrule during those ancient days. It says that some people called the sages kept the kingdom safe from some kind of demon king. I can't remember exactly what the slab says. Why bother when the translated text is right here next to it? 
Besides, my hands are full with Sunday Lion research. I don't have time to get in the weeds with sages and demon kings and whatnot. Ugh, oh, sorry, just thinking out loud. Now, please excuse me. I have to hurry back to the Sunday Lion research. Excuse me! Fine then. Let's see if I care. What do I know about Sunday Lions? You know? What, what, do, what do I know? Wouldn't know anything. Yeah. Hey, if you guys are new here, have you followed on YouTube? That'd be my only ask. We got you two YouTube channels. We got the main channel and we got the VODs channel. So if you if you're like, wow, I wish I could have seen at the start of this awesome Tears of the Kingdom playthrough. You can just go back to, on that YouTube channel, the second link there. And watch from the very beginning, day one. You need background noise? Background noise while you study, while you work? Anything? I got you covered. Lots of hours of Tears of the Kingdom action. You can get caught up on all of it. I think we're at like 40 subs on the Vaz channel. Which is excellent. We're getting pretty frequent viewers of the videos. You know, it's not uh, Mr. Beast numbers, but I'm um, over here trying. People seem to be watching. So uh, we're going to keep making them. We'll post the VOD of this, of this uh, stream shortly after the stream is complete. About an hour or so from now. Um... Where are you? Silent Princess. Speaking of which, we gotta get a, uh, we gotta capture ourselves. We gotta capture ourselves a thumbnail image. Remind me. I gotta go talk to our boy. Our boy. I think we've visited all the rings. Where was he? Link, you're kind of in my personal space. So did you visit the ring ruins? Uh, I would if I wasn't scared of heights. No one is allowed to visit the one ruin that's floating above the village. Can you sneeze? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Whew. Excuse me. Don't, don't you dare make fun of my soft sneezes either. You're not allowed. No flaming me. Uh, I love the Vaz. Drinking my morning tea and watching you. It's the favorite part of waking up. Oh, Vanny. You're too sweet. Stop it. Uh, but if you read one of the slimes in any of the other ring rooms, tell me what it says. What? You went to see them for me? So what'd they say? Back in ancient Hyrule, people called sages protected the kingdom. I see how fascinating. I bet those sages are nearly as strong as the wise Princess Zelda herself. Thanks so much for that. Only one left. You had a chance to see more? What was written on them? So in the ancient battle, the king and the sages fought the demon king, but they couldn't defeat him? Still, they tried to leave a glimmer of hope behind for the people of the future? For us? That's really something, huh? Hey, how do you think the upheaval is some kind of sign that Demon's King resurrected? You don't think the upheaval is some kind of sign of the Demon's King's resurrection, do you? <laughs> Can't be right. Must be overthinking things. So what was the fourth one? I see. So that was the fourth one. I see. Hmm, wait a second. If you look at all these slap messages together, don't they sort of read like one single message? I think it would be the rest of the message being that slap phone in the ring room, but why? Oh, it's impossible trying to figure this stuff I was making my head hurt. Oh, well, at the end of the day, I learned a little something about history. Thank you for everything. Uh, 
from one sightseer to another, I'd like to reward you with one of my personal favorite travel necessities. Butterflies? Yeah, I'm getting oh. a sore throat from talking so much. Those are Thunderwing butterflies. I caught these unusual insects on my travels through the Farron region. They only come out in the rain. You can boil them with monster parts to make an elixir that grants you resistance to electricity. Remember that it'll come in handy with your travels. Take it from me. All right, then. I'll see you around. We are knocking out quests, though. He was stuck on a chicken. How am I going to get up there? I got to distract these people. Let me up there. That whole story pro Princess Zelda had me reeling. So I never introduced myself properly. Sorry about that. Once again, the name is Taro. Alright, Taro. I don't like your general height. Girth. He's got a broken lens on his glasses. I'm here on Pius request to investigate the ruins that fell in this village. Yeah. Yeah, I I bet I bet it's you I bet she requested you to investigate. Why is he got to magnify his navel like that? Bro, I don't need to see your belly button in 4K. It's right at eye level. Get it out of here. Oh. The Zelda order everyone to stay out of the floating ring ruins. It's hard to ask of us, but she's the princess. Nothing to do in the meantime, but keep investigating the other oh. ruins. Have you been to them yet? There's four other ring ruins. Most of them are broke apart on impact. Side each site, we found an intriguing mm. stone slab. If you ask me, these slabs will be key to unlocking the mysteries of the Zonai civilization. Um, so where do we, how do we, I gotta go this way to Hateno, right? Isn't Hateno like somewhere over here? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or is it up here? I think it's over here. Yeah da yeah da da Actually, you know what we should do? I want to talk to this. Hi. You should mark your visit to the ring ruins. The decorations I made using flower and plants and things. After the ring ruins from the sky, Kekariko got much busier. It's like we're more a part of everyone's lives now, and they're more a part of our village. Ah. So I started making garlands that look like ring ruins, hoping they bring people together even more. 
want them to make lots of people happy, so I'm only charging a little bit. That's right, only five rupees each. Huh. Hmm. Should we go to the hole? Should we visit the hole? <laughs> Off to the hole we go. Yeah, da da. Actually, dang it. Oh, hold on. Couple things. Before we hole it out. Before we dive into that hole. You guys are just setting me up now. You guys are just setting me up. How long am I going to be streaming? I think about another hour. Thinking about another hour. Is the plan for today. Do have a little little work to do. We gotta go see little drummer boy. Dum buzz um be dum yeah be dum dum come on what? So that smell something sweet? Hey maybe in your pouch there uh. Alright My beat didn't reach the bees but I guess it got you moving With these I can whip up honey crepes for the conductor of my trope on the double. Here's a little something for helping me. A hundred what do we need? Eight hundred for those pants? Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat it and head back to my band leader. Play with a group called the Stable Trotters. We bop around from stable to stable, sharing our tunes. But everyone uh, back at our old meeting spot, Woodland Stable. It's way north in Eldens, so I better get a move on. Maybe I'll see you around later. Way north in Eldens. Way north in Elden. Ikariko Village. Riverside Stable. I don't know that we've been to the woodland stable yet. I just don't know. Yeah, da da. Come here. Look at that sign. 
Looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mops. Do 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 do. And then, and then... Now that I know about this sun D-Lion thing... Maybe we should cook up some more of those, uh... Gloom killers, you know? Cook up some gloom killer, you know? A little milk and a little... If it were if it was good enough for granny, it's good enough for us, right? <laughs> right? It's good enough for granny, it's good enough for us. No. We gotta buy more milk. We're out of milk again. Somebody put milk back on the grocery list. This one I thought we were good too. Alright, sunny line, a little salt. How about uh how about an egg and a little butter? It's gotta be it's gotta be something decent there, right? Sunny vegetable omelet, let's go. Wah wah we need any Did I not grab a sun? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Meat and rice bowl. I thought I... Can't carry more meals. Okay, then. I didn't know we could carry too much food. We got too much grub. Oh, jeez. Wanna not? All right, off to the hole we go. I guess we're just headed to the hole. Hill chasm. Oh, it's deep. It is deep and dark.
We just gotta get this root going. Did that kid earlier really say he was gonna smash pollen? That's weird. Interesting. 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 Um. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Zora. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> what do we got here? Ooh. Another root. But first, I've got pose. I've got pose. Indifferent area, area. I know y'all sing along. You don't have to tell me, I know. Just, well, now we're just collecting. Now we're on a collecting spree. I don't feel too bad about almost quoting the other thing I was going to quote when you just sang that. Grabbing all the bomb flowers we can. This is a great this is a great trip, team. I'm glad we decided to come down. We're grabbing these spooky bugs. We're grabbing bomb flowers. It's just well worth our trip. Maybe we'll see a bad guy. Huh? Huh? Also, oh, we're going to have to do a Kekariko screen grab. We got to go back. We're going to have to go back eventually. We got to do a thumbnail. The stream needs to have a Kekariko village thumbnail. Enemies. Got a lot of enemies. Got a lot of Bacoblins trying to drain me of my energy. Where was that? I saw that. Did we go to another light route? Did we connect the light routes? Oh, wow. Look at this. What is this? What is this? Wow. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Linky, 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 linky. Back up, brother. Back up, back up. Link, you are fine, mother. Won't you back that thing up? How do I get up there? Oh, these bounce pads. What if I put them on top of each other? Can you stack them? Does the bounce stack? Look at how cool that looks, though. This thing, it looks sick. Can you stack these? Wouldn't that be something? You think they work like that? Only one way to find out. They seem to fit nicely together. <laughs> Nate, where do you get a load of this? Do I upset the villagers? Can I grab those arrows? thing I'm just wasting arrows at this point Yiga clan there are walls that stretch there are walls that stretch from floor to vaulted ceiling in the depths. As a general rule, it's impossible to pass them. In multiple instances, climbers have fallen while trying to, in vain to scale the monstrous barriers. It is better to hunt for a detour. When encountering a wall in the depths, you must first try to calmly determine whether it stretches up to the ceiling. Fortunately, objects that look like icicles made of rock often dangle near such walls. There may be secret paths through some of the walls, but those are likely very rare. A good map might pinpoint such paths. Glory to Master Koga. What do we got here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh boy, we might have done it this time. 
Thank you. Oh, we're good. We're good. Now, where was that building, though? Found the mighty banana, Sarge. Okay, then. Large crystallized charge. Giga schematic. A scrawl schematic for a contraption made of Zonai devices, building materials. Looks like you can use the auto build to store super spring. I kind of was building that already. The super spring. I like that. Okay. Well, this is a cool, cool little dealio. No. Where was that tower? Oh, it's over there. And we're off. That I, a depth dragon. Mind if I parallel park this thing right here? Perfect. How about that park job? Thank you for flying air, Gerda. We ask that you put your trays in an upright and locked position before exiting the... Uh... The plane. Z plane, Z plane. Okay, then. Boom. The light route dispelled the darkness. So Do I have that one all right? Right? Yes. slow <laughs> no 
No sense in wasting a perfectly good outfit. Let's see if we can't climb a little. Then we'll fly that away. Let's see what this drag on is all about. Hop, hop. Yeah, da, da, da. Yeah, da, da. It's been, it has been a productive day. We have not come close. I should have bet the under on Koroks. We didn't do enough exploring. Now we're in the depths and that's not helping our numbers at all. What we got there? This looks awful gloomy. Tulin, I could really use you. Oh my goodness. Barely. Barely. Tulin to save the day. It's so bright. Let's see what we got here. Oh no. Thank you, Tulin. For nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, arrows. Zonite. All the zonites. Wow. 
Five arrows. All right. That was worth. That was worth the trip. Yada yada. Yeah. Actually, let's try a different fit. We're just turning on the lights down here. We're just cranking on the lights. Selen, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I got my uh, glowy bell bottoms on. Yeah. Look good, feel good, play good. Look good, feel good, play good. to uh oh i got an extra or what happened did i get hit oh is that when i got frozen frozen yeah that is It's been a productive day, Salen. It's been a productive day. Spent a lot of time in the old Kekariko village. Which has been super fun. It really is. It really is excellente. Muy excellente. Yeah. Yeah. Get us.
frost emitter, you don't say. Now, is this a twofer? Or is this... Oh, it's a double. It's a double! I mean, seems silly not to use it. What could we put it on? Put it on this thing, maybe? Why the heck not? Good experiment. I don't know what that's gonna do. Can we go further down? I'm scared. down there like something is that away at the very least pose <laughs> looks scary over here otherwise <laughs> oh wow that worked out whoa 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 Bomb flower, thank you. All right, we're making it. It's getting late, though. Okay, yeah.
I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Whoops, got a little, little too close. Just got a little too close. He, that, that dude's no joke. He takes a good amount of damage. Barely. Barely. Where can we? Well, let's try it. So we can see what we're doing up there. No, you did not see me. here you bother me you're my way bro get out of here Tulin. i need a what i need this isn't the ideal weapon but we're gonna use this is the right weapon
gotta be s whoa Why does he instantly turn and face me? Tooling, you mind? Wow, this guy is strong, dude. This dude is strong. My bow broke too. Yikes. Yo. Yikes. Not good, team. Not good at all. working on my guess. Yikes. No, he's quick. Come on. Ugh. 
no way. Come on! Should really eat some of that porridge. No, I'm going to. I'm going to. We put on miles. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Look at this thing, though. Seems like not something you want to like go to waste. Put it on this two-handed bad boy. <laughs> we earned. We earned this one. We earned this one. One two player Zelda be awesome? It would be awesome. Look at that thing. No, I think uh I think I'm good on enemies for now. Okay. Let's um freaking scary down there. We burned through all of our bows. Another opal. What do we got here? One flew way off over here. This, why is this desperate strength? Oh wow, because I'm low on health? Dang! <gasps> Dang!
Actually, I'm going to save that. Wow, what a shot. Unbelievable. Got to give credit where credit's due. That was a heck of a shot. Roasted me. Absolutely roasted me. Yeah, the depths are no joke. The depths are no joke, but I think... think we can do this we so killed the bird the flying thing Is that it? Are there more? see see what the heck's going on around here stay away from those you don't want to stay away from those we know how I get around explosives it's not a good thing not a good thing at all okay Let's, uh, well, let's head back to the surface. Let's head back to the surface. Wow, we're out there, too. Um... We'll head back to the surface. We'll get a uh, good screenshot in Kekariko Village. And then we might call her a day there. Get some dinner in my belly. Take care of some business tonight. I am. I'm planning to stream tomorrow too. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Um. Oh, well, that not good. I forget what do I, I forget what I have to make an offering here. So like this. I forget what I have to offer.
what did I offer? What was it? Was it charges? There we go. There we go. What do we got here? A stabilizer. Balloon. Big wheel. Where the heck are these chickens gone? Gotta grab the herb. Gotta grab the herb. Where'd those chickens go? Look at all them chickens! Where'd they go? I do remember that chicken. Don't mind me just stealing your children. Nothing to worry about. Airless frog. Oh, wow. I don't have it. Gerda. This is not the weapon. Jelly? Those eggs are actually part of a side quest. Uh oh. Whoopsies. Oh well, I got her. Yep. You know what? I got him if I need him. Oh, that's what I was gonna. Can my can my hammer? Break these rocks. Pin. Skeleton, what's going on? Your your purple name blended in with selling Callie's purple name. Skelly, how you doing? Oh, welcome in. Sorry, I was like in the zone. 
How are you? How are you? I thought, yeah, when I read it, I was like, oh, like a skeleton out of the ground, you know, like one of the skeletons that come out at nighttime. I was very confused. But now I'm on the same page. Welcome. We've been uh, exploring Kekariko Village all day. It's been amazing. So much fun. Oh. Oh wow, I just back to where back to where it all belong. Never felt so strong. Eh? All right, well, I've now we got to get a uh, screenshot. I feel like it's got to be down right down here. Boom, Kekariko Village. Who maybe? Where can we, uh, where can we get a good angle? We need a good, a good thumbnail for the VOD, you guys. Something that screams Kekariko Village. That's what I was thinking, maybe get on a... You follow me, you're mean. No one gets to know my secret base except mom. Secret base. Do I just go in or do I wait for her to leave or what? Sorry, going in. What do we got here? Bright bloom seeds. Obviously, always need those. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I knew that little kid was hiding something. Eightfold blade. going on down here who's dropping apples oh wow private garden shot down here huh options we're just gonna clean the screen up hud mode bro why am i wearing these pants we got we gotta we gotta we gotta get out of these There we go. All right. 
let's get a couple of shots like this first page read the tattered notebook let's go back here my beloved husband always gives it all his all when working service for others i admire that about him He's been working himself to the bone ever since being granted the honor of guarding Lady Impa. I wish for him to always be in good health and good spirits. That's why I made him tough meat stuffed pumpkin. Using fortified pumpkins and fresh meat. I was thrilled that he kept saying it was tasty and going back for more. I hope it, it filled his heart as well as his stomach. My little Kotla. My perfect girl. I love her so very much. She truly is the apple of my eye. Speaking of apples, she seems to have quite the taste. Quite the taste for hot buttered apple. It's like an adorable little squirrel always stuffing her cheeks full of them. If I could, I would cook endless amounts of apples and goat butter to keep my little one happy. Okay, so we got apples and goat butter. We got raw meat and fortified pumpkin. Coco is my precious treasure as a sibling. She's an absolute sweetheart. She cares so deeply for her little sister. Ever since Kotla was born, Coco didn't even whine or complain anymore. She is so strong and so wonderful. Uh, luckily, Mommy knows Coco loves energizing honeyed apples. Uh, tad difficult to collect honey, but so long as I carry fire with me, bees won't attack. Interesting. I would go any length to see Coco's smiling face, even for a few bee stings here or there, it's well worth it. So honey and apples, I imagine? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Did I get all turned around? What's going on? I did rob that kid's veggies. Thank you. Uh, let me refer to you to the case of finders keepers. Losers weepers. Okay. Let's see if we can't get a uh, decent vantage point here. So I'm thinking. No, no. Yes, yes, yes. Thinking we could. Maybe. Maybe this is the shot. Oh, yeah. I like that. Kekariko. It was a fun stream. That was a good one. That was a good one. Okay. We'll go here. We'll go here. We're going to save. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'd like to get to Hateno Village. That would be another excellent stop along the way. And... Um, yeah.
Nate, thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I think we're going to confirm that. Yes, in fact, our good friend Toonie is playing Final Fantasy 12, the Zodiac Age. First playthrough. So we're going to go say hi to Mr. Toonie. You guys know Toonie. You guys know Toonie. We're going to go say hi to Tony Loons. Um, yeah, again, uh, if you're new here, my ask. First of all, give the channel a follow. I think, does this work? Maybe? Does my follow command not work? Anyway, you know how to follow. Click the button. Little purple heart around the screen somewhere. Uh, follow the Twitch channel. We're here every Saturday and Sunday. Um, and then give the YouTube channels a sub. Uh, again, I post the VODs for all these streams there. So uh, we'll be posting today's stream up there. I think it's, what, day 11 we're at? So, um, yeah, a lot of catching up to do if you want to catch up on the, on the streams itself. Our progress in Tears of the Kingdom. Um, but otherwise, thank you guys so much. That's all I ask. A couple, of, a couple of follows and free subs doesn't cost anything. Uh, supports the channel. The you know, you know the routine. Uh, we got a Discord here. I'm also on the social medias. Um, so if that's your thing, follow me there. I'm not super active. I don't do a ton of social media, but when I do feel up to it. I try to make it decent. Um, yeah. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I'm going to be watching Toonie's stream, eating a little dinner, and uh, getting a little work done tonight. And then we'll have some more fun tomorrow. So uh, thank you again. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And let's go say hi to Mr. Toonie Loons. Appreciate you guys so much. Bye-bye. We'll enjoy some... Tech Rico Village before we raid over. <laughs>